Hi guys, my name is Hope and I'm a cedaholic. No, I am not huffing the soil, I'm just smelling it because I love the scent of soil. And I wanted to get a little help from camera guys to get closer to these guys I showed you the other day, which reminds me, only four people have named the mystery plant. I got six more um, packets of seeds to give away, possibly more. If you get in within the next two or three days, I will send you some seeds that I self-saved for butternut squash and a few other things. So, get your entry in uh, that video. It's, um, it's something about name that plant, plant and sproutling. And I wanted to come closer to the sprouts because I did a terrible job filming. <laughs> I'm a terrible camera person and I don't know how to edit as you know. So I wanted to just let you guys know I've got, like I said, Underground Railroad. I've got pineapple. The Underground Railroad I did for, hopefully that's my grandma's tomato that she taught me to grow when I was four years old. I did pineapple because Josh over at the city said raves about it all the time. I did Golden Jubilee because, um, oh God, I can't remember who it was. I got to look at my comments and I'll uh, put a link to her channel. But she raves about this one. I got a Mana Orange, also seeds given to me by Trinity. Japanese Black Trifeli are up. Zoichka are up. Yellow pear. I thought I only had um, one, but I actually have two. I have one um, yellow garden peach, the one I couldn't figure out the name of the other day. And this one actually has a fuzzy skin like a peach, they say, so I'm interested to see how that tastes. And German pink. Um, I got those out of that collection from Seed Savers Exchange that I bought with the um, Jabusic lettuce that you see growing in my window. I got Clemson spineless okra. My husband loves the flowers. Found out he doesn't love the okra so much, but he loves the flowers. But I like okra. I grew up eating it because my grandmother's from the south. I put it in soup. I chop it up and put it in my salads raw in slices. It's much more tolerable, you guys. You got to try it. Um, I got quite a few cherry bombs over here. Looks like five, and I hope I can rescue and maintain all five of those because that was a good pepper. And I have um, orange ox heart up. And I think that's all I got for um, my tomatoes and then peppers I did have a couple jalapeno orange I bought every color jalapeno Baker Creek had except one that was on back order that I can't get right now because as you know I don't think they're shipping yet again so then over here in this tray that I couldn't show you the other day because it was turned around the wrong way I have a variety pack of sunflowers and it was 30 different varieties in one little packet and I got quite a few of them up, and I don't know what varieties they are because they were a mix in a blend. Um, and um, I'm reshooting this video, but camera guy had asked me earlier why did I buy a blend without um, knowing which was which. I figure I know uh, enough sunflowers and read enough catalogs that I'll be able to identify them, and this way I could get much more variety without buying 30 packs of seeds and possibly getting a divorce <laughs> of just sunflowers. So I'm going to try it this way and see what I can save. I did buy one additional packet from them and that was Velvet Queen because Trinity and Angel sent me some of those seeds last year and I just could not get them to germinate so I'm going to try again. Then here in the middle I have some um, beans, just some bush beans. I told you at that box outside um, my front door on the side of the house, I have to harvest the seeds from the um, miner's lettuce. Once I do that, I'm going to put in a couple of these um, bush beans. I have kidney beans and some contenders and I don't know what, black eye beans or something. I forget, but they're all bush beans. I've got them spot, just find little spaces around and stick them in. And then here, in um, con being consistent with what I've been telling you all winter, all spring, and truthfully, is a bunch of summer squash. I got seeds from... Uh, squash and cucumbers, all cucurbits he say for early summer. I got zucchini, I got yellow squash, I got hybrids, I got heirlooms, I got open pollinated. I got an heirloom lemon cucumber from Trinity, and then I got some um, hybrid stuff up here. This one is a uh, partial eclipse from Hoff's Tools, and um, just a whole lot of things germinating. So what I'm going to do with these ones that have four that have already germinated, I'm going to move those later today into these pots two at a time because I plan to share with my neighbors and I still have my allotment even though I can't technically go over there yet I haven't seen anybody over there except at the basketball court 
which is easily 40 foot away from my bed. So I will be out there planting squash. And if people don't stop by and grab a few, God bless them. That's the whole point of doing espresso, that if someone needs to eat, they can eat. So just wanted to share a little bit closer of what was going on in these trays, because I know you couldn't see anything in my terrible <laughs> camera work the other day. So I just wanted to say to you guys, as always, happy gardening. Oh, did I mention you guys need to name that plant? I only have four entries so far, so I got some more waiting. And um, as always, blessings of bounty and may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.